Hello children I hope you are all happy and safe welcome to this special english hour here every day we will sing dance listen to stories and have lots of fun together are you ready to have fun then please stand up and join me in a dance All these animals in the zoo all day long what do they do walk talk study no they dance All these animals in the zoo how do you think do the snakes dance hmm they wiggle 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 and wiggle all these animals in the zoo how do you think do the penguins dance hmm they waddle 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 and waddle all these animals in the zoo how do you think do the elephants dance hmm they sway 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 and sway. Children, I hope you all enjoyed the dance we just did. Now, I would like to ask you a few questions. Let us share our thoughts and ideas. Children, Have you ever had the chance to visit a zoo? I'm sure you must have been to a zoo at least once. If not, you may have heard about it. Children, can you tell me what types of animals are found at the zoo? Tigers, lion, cheetah, all types of animals and birds are found at the zoo children do you think these animals always lived at the zoo animals live in forests and jungles that is their natural home animals are brought to the zoo for the amusement and entertainment of people because people like watching animals in the zoo they are brought from their forests and kept at the zoo do you think animals are happy in the forest if you ever get a chance please visit a forest or a jungle and see how animals live in their natural environment they live very freely but in the zoo they have to live within a small cage it is not their natural environment that is why we must always promote that animals are allowed to stay at the jungle and not in zoos to protect the natural habitat where animals live sanctuaries are built do you know which is the largest sanctuary in india sanctuary is a place which is protected only for wildlife to stay no construction or any human activity is allowed there kaziranga national park 
is the largest sanctuary in India and it is in the state of Assam. Children, it is very important as human beings to show our love and care for wild animals. It is only if we care for them that they will survive and live on earth and if the environment with animals survives, will humans be able to survive on earth. So children, we need to keep our environment clean, green and full of animals. Children, let's have a look at a few new words. We'll try to understand their meaning and also take help of some short simple sentences. First word, leap, leap, leap. Leap means to jump or to spring over a short distance. We had to leap over the water puddles. We could not leap over the big ditch. Roar, roar, roar. The sound made by some animals. The lion has a loud roar. Trembled, trembled, trembled. Trembled means when one's body or some body parts shake because of fear. Mary trembled when her parents were angry. Anna trembled looking at the tiger. Brawl, brawl, brawl. Brawl means to move around restlessly in search of a prey. The tigers brawl in the jungle. The lion is on the brawl for a deer. Children, now that we have spoken so much about animals, come, let's read a short skit. If you have a textbook, please open page number 40. We will be reading a skit. Please point to the words as I read. If you don't have a textbook, please see the TV screens and listen to me carefully. Children, we will come across the words we just learnt and try to understand their meaning. Children, who is this? This is a hunter. Can you see the gun on his back? And who is this? This is a deer. Can you see its two horns? This is a skit. In the skit, we are given dialogues. The skit is enacted by students. That is why dialogues of student 1 and student 2 are given. Come, let's read it. A skit. Student 1. Hello, who are you? Student 2. I am a deer and I leap. Jump and run. See? Leaps about. Who are you? Student 1. Ha ha! I am a hunter and I hunt deer. Student 2. Ah! Runs away. Children, 
in the skit we are given dialogues we are given the name of the person who needs to say the dialogues in the bracket are the actions that the character performs here there are two characters one is the hunter and the second is the deer the deer leaps and runs away when it sees that it's a hunter children who is this this is a lion student 1 hello who are you student 3 i am a lion and i roar to make your heart tremble wow who are you student 1 i am a hunter and i hunt lions student 3 ah runs away the hunter asks the lion who are you the lion roars and says i am a lion when the lion learns that it's a hunter the lion too runs away children who is this this is a tiger student 1 hello who are you student 4 i am a tiger and i prowl about in this jungle prowls about who are you student 1 i am a hunter and i hunt tigers student 4 ah runs away the tiger prowls about in the jungle means the tiger goes in search for its prey but the tiger itself lands up as the hunter's prey as soon as the tiger knows it's a hunter the tiger runs away children who is this this is the hunter and who does this look like this looks like mm let's find out last student hello who are you student 1 hello i am hunter and i hunt animals who are you last student i am a forest guard and i catch hunters and put them in jail student 1 ah tries to run away last student caught you this is a forest guard forest guards catch hunters and put them in jail as soon as the hunter knows it's a forest guard the hunter tries to run away but the forest guard catches hold of him children did you like the skit in the skit students are dressed as hunters deer lion tiger and a forest guard they have enacted a wonderful skit do you know what's the message of the skit in the skit we see that each of these animals the deer the lion and the tiger meet with a hunter and as soon as they know that it's a hunter they all run away why do you think animals run away from hunters hunters 
shoot animals down and use them for their skin, teeth and other body parts. They sell these body parts and earn money. Poor animals are being used in this way. They are exploited. They are killed. And all of this just for a little money. To protect the wildlife, there are forest guards. Forest guards make sure that no one troubles these animals and also that the hunters are put behind bars. They are put in jail. This is the message of the wonderful skit. Children, let's do an activity now. In this activity, you will see on your screen images of a few animals. You will also see the sounds made by these animals. You need to match the animal with the sound it makes. Do you think you can give this a try? Then come, let's begin. Children, come, let's have a look at the answers. A horse neighs. So one is matched with E. A cow moves. So two is matched with D. A dog barks. So three is matched with B. An owl screeches. So four is matched with A. A cat purrs. So, 5 is matched with C. Children, I hope you like this activity. Children, we just did an activity where we matched animals with the sounds they make. Now, let us try to match animals with the words that describe the movements they make. Would you like to give it a try? Then come, let's begin. Children, I hope you were able to find the answers. Come, let's have a look. A monkey swings. A penguin waddles. A fish darts. Birds flutter. Children, I hope you liked this activity. Children, let's do an activity now. In this activity, we will learn about action words or verbs. Verbs are used to describe actions. We will see a few sentences on our screen. Along with these sentences, we will also have a word bank. Using the word bank that has verbs or action words, we will fill in the blanks given in the sentences. Come, let's give this a try. Children, I hope you were able to find the answers. Neha drank water from the cooler. Rachel wrote a letter to her grandpa. The monkeys 
climbed up the tree. Suraj sleeps at 8 p.m. every day. Mrs. Mishra gave us a math assignment. Children, I hope you were able to find the answers. Children, I hope you all liked today's session. It's now time to sit back and relax while I tell you a wonderful story. Children, let's talk about animals. Animals are man's best friend. Animals and man need to live together on this earth. So it's important that man takes care of animals and protects them too. Today. Let's hear the story of one little girl who gets to talk with animals. The name of the story is We Are All Animals, written by Madhav Shavan and Meera Tendolkar. There is a little girl who meets with the animals of the forest. She tells them, I am a human being. I know everything. I have eyes. I can see everything. To this, the animals reply by saying, We animals can also see in the night. Can you? The little girl once again tells the animals, I have a nose and I can breathe. The animals say, we all also have our nose and all our noses are different. They are even prettier. Then the little girl says, I have teeth and I can chew. The animals say, we all also have big teeth and we can even bite. The little girl says, I can hear with my ears. And the animals reply by saying, we can hear sounds you cannot even imagine. The girl says, I have two feet. I can dance, I can run. The animals say, we have four feet. We can run, jump and prance. The little girl says, I have hands and I can work with them. The lion says, we have claws, we hunt with them. The little girl says, oh, these claws, so much dirt must be getting filled in them. The animal said, we have long tails. The girl said, yes, a bit too long. We humans gave up tails long ago. How else would we wear pants? The animal said, we can roar. The girl said, have you heard my mother? The girl said, I am a human. You are all only animals. All the animals told her, We are all animals. Humans are also animals. To this, the girl replies by saying, Yes, when I look at my brother, I think sometimes he is surely an animal.
At last, the girl, her brother, and all the animals dance together. They accept that the earth is their place. They both have to take care of it together. Children, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. I request you all to please make some time and share the skit that we just read today with your friends and family. Children, till we meet next time, please take care. Bye bye and stay safe. Thank you.